Jessica McDonald, The Amazing World of Gumball, Cartoon Network. Christian Lance, Epic Cat Battles with Puss in Boots, DreamWorks TV. Kevin Glickman, Get Blake, Nickelodeon. Christina Milizia, Doc McStuffins, Disney Junior. Steph Lynn Robinson, Looped, CITV. All righty, and the Voice Arts Award goes to Christian Lance. In ancient Egypt, the mummy was feared. A bandage-covered creature of sinister magic, the mummy is no friend to felines. Luckily, every cat has one skill which may defeat the mummy. Cats are good at unrolling paper. <laughs> you get a little piece that hangs free, and you bat it, and bat it! <laughs> it is so much fun! <laughs> oh my goodness, him. For this acceptance, I think I will use my real voice. No. Again, Antonio, I got your back, man. Thank you. Um, no, uh, I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to say, uh, shortly after arriving in the U.S., I learned to speak English by watching cartoons. And uh, my favorite back then, I was a small child, I was about five or six years old, uh, was Scooby-Doo, the original Scooby-Doo. And of course, Frank Welker, the amazing Frank Welker, was the voice of Fred. Frank Welker. And, um, you know, he was the cool guy. He was kind of the hero of the series, so he was my hero. And so I learned to speak English by, by watching Fred, by listening to Fred. Uh, cut to 30 years later, I booked my first role in an animated series, and it was a show called Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated from Warner Brothers. And uh, I go to the studio, and I, I settle in behind the mic, sitting right next to me, none other than Frank Welker. Now in his 60s, still voicing Fred, still sounding amazing. So I, I was incredibly starstruck, but I, I got the nerve up to, to speak with him. And we had a great chat. He's the sweetest person I've ever met. And he, uh, he asked me about my, my background, where I was from. I told him I was from Mexico. And he asked me, wow, you know, how did you learn to speak English so well? <laughs> You're way ahead of me. <laughs> so, so I, I smiled and, and I looked at him and I said, Frank, actually, you taught me. And at that moment, where everything came full circle, I knew that I was exactly where I was supposed to be. And tonight, in front of all you amazing voice actors who I admire tremendously and who I'm so honored to call not only my colleagues, but my friends, you inspire me just as much. And tonight, you've given me that feeling one more time. Thank you. Thank you. 